Everybody and welcome to the Mike the Ref chat, Twitch stream, chat stream, whatever you want to call it, stream. We are having a blast today. It is going to be so much fun getting into this here. We're finally getting into the old WrestleQuest. Two weeks in the waiting here. Well, hell, it's been, what, a year in the waiting pretty much because we've been uh, waiting a good while for this game to come out. Got delayed an extra two weeks uh, just to clean up some bugs and stuff, which I'm sure there's probably going to be some bugs here that still need to be uh, cleaned up. And as I'm saying that, let me see if I can. No, oh, we're good. But yeah, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by here, whether you're checking it out live, whether you're checking out video on demand, whether you're checking it out on the old YouTube page. As we uh, get going here with... Uh, the newest project here and try to get through WrestleQuest here. So without further ado, let's switch things over here. And I love the little animations off the start from what I've seen. So let's, uh, let's do it to it here and see what we got. So they did get a lot of licenses from a lot of streamers, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of wrestling YouTubers as well. So And it looks like they didn't script on anything here. Roger Roger. One shot. So cute, the characters here. I'm not a big fan of RPGs. I'll warn you guys ahead of time here. But you know what? I, I, I said I would give this an honest chance here just to see if... if I could get this... Uh... The music's got me excited, that's for sure. Check the options, of course, before we could go like... Language shell works for me. New game. And I like how we get to check this out today instead of last night, trying to race our way through it. Welcome to the toy room where every action figure, toy miniature, plushy dreams of wrestling greatness. So at least they're able to bring it up right away that this is based on a, a toy room. That was not explicitly shown in the demo, but pretty much inferred. Oh, brother. From the board game Jungles of Junglali, Junglaji. To the wintry winds of the Great North. Diamond Dallas Page of the Great White North? Eh, maybe. The cream of the crap. I will say my voice is a little off today, so I may not. Oh. I got this. Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling, practicing their slams, and paying homage to the legends that came before them. Fair enough. Bad guys get the heat on the good guys, but in the end, the good guys prevail. That never happened. Many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room. And many fable battles have taken place here, both in and out of the ring. One such tale, and its many battles, both of the plastic end of the heart is about to begin. Ah! And a quest of this size to not one hero, but two. 
So it looks like we're going to be taking on two parts of a story here. At least they got some epic music going with this here. So they actually have Savage in the game. That is awesome. Oh yeah, well yeah, see the creep rise to the top. So you wanna find me, you don't look sideways, don't look back behind you, just look up. No way, Macho Man. Four for the match. Jump championship belt right now to the own new owner, me. Stone Age Cotton. Listen, listen, you gotta earn this belt with your madness in the ring. It belongs only to the best. Yeah. That's why I'll be the champ for a long time. Dig it! 10,000 years as world champion. Ooh, yeah. Are those shades a little too dark? Can't you see a place to rig the blow? Explosives don't scare me, you stitched up cotton ball. You can't win by cheating. You always think you're such a hero, don't you, Macho Man? You can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad. And that's the bottom thread, because Stone Age said so. All right. Can't win. Stone Age, you're just a grain of sand in the desert of the Macho Madness. Oh yeah! Drops the elbow and wins again. Isn't a plastic mattress. Wow, 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 did you guys see that? <laughs> Forget it, Randy. We'll never get the tickets this late. Come on, we'll still, we can still wrestle outside. All right. What can I do for you? Go for it, Randy. Scott Bayless isn't a plastic Oof. mattress. You said it. Man. How do the pros do some of those high fly boots without hurting each other? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. Oh, they use the F word. That is not good. What? Watch your mouth. Yeah, Peanuts, shut it. You really think it's real? Really? Of course it's real. <laughs> it's about as real as us, Todd. Okay. At least they're going tongue and cheek into themselves here. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real. So they're all counterfeit toys. That works. Shut up, Todd. And you, Randy, even if wrestling was real, which it is, that you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could be. Oh, fair enough. You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real and I'll be the greatest champion ever. Several years later. <laughs> this new outfield feels el stupendo, but I gotta get to the main part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train new students. All right. Right there, bottom corner. I'll help you stay course. Icons will appear here for quest objectives. Shops and healing, what a doubt. Look here to keep slamming in the right direction. Fair enough. Now we get to fire up. So we're doing a lot of the stuff we did have as part of the, uh...
Gotta check everything out as you go along here, right? So I know we're not going outside yet. We gotta go through the tutorial stage, of course. This is my domain. Johnny Stretch. There you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these greenhorns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. All right, Rookies, you want to learn how to wrestle? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear the cheers and shake the very foundation of the universe? You want to become a coiled spring of excitement and the most electrifying thing the world of wrestling has ever seen? And this is downright poetic. And you're right, the place will chat chose. Take some notes and soak it all in. All right. Let's see if we can remember how to do this now. On your turn, you can strike, taunt, use an item, or use a gimmick. Let's practice our strikes first. So B again to confirm. Okay, then you gotta use A there. Whenever you strike here, it's some extra damage, you're able to match the button prompt. Try it now. Well, see, nice job. Those texts that send your opponents into the ropes. Try it, amigo. Okay. Nice to check out your hype meter down, down at the bottom. All right. As you all pump the crowd is in your favor, you can raise the hype meter by mixing up your attacks and nearly button props. Almost missed that one. Hype up the crowd for extra damage and even to enable some power moves. One way you can build hype is using the taunt option. This will generate hype equal to two plus your influence. All that grand saying will leave you vulnerable though. And you'll take an extra 25% damage for one round. Try taunting now. No, no. I think it's risky, but it helps you beat your hype quickly. Beware though, if the hype meter dips, your enemy's favor though will create extra power instead. Speaking of extra power, let's try out a gimmick. These are special abilities and wrestling moves. So I can't use either one of those yet, but I can use this. Such power, such strength, such machismo. I'm a bust you up, boy. Spear Chan. Oh, he's outside the ring. Wow. What, the sound of that? what happens if you fail the prompt after knocking AB into the ropes? Then AB will use that momentum against you, so you better nail it. So I wear a big up an opponent to make him lose all their HP. Dios mio, no! In fact, the wrestlers who have to face have to be pinned, observed. So basically, it, it, it automatically let me fail that one. Okay. That makes sense. Looks weak and ready to drop. Call that state fatigue, but you can fatigue an enemy by bringing them down low HP. Some abilities may also fatigue it, so keep up.
Now an enemy has fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he's ready to be put into submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmick menu. So I wasn't exactly a perfect pinner, what can I say? Nice, the enemy is down and out. Fail pin attempt, your enemy will kick out, recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you do will get easier. Oh, okay. Be on your guard though, Tipple. Every wrestler can also pin you. If you get too weak, once you're a pin, there is no coming back. Also note that all enemies not all enemies will be pinned, only wrestlers and other tough guys. So we just made it up to level three just by taking the, uh, just do the tutorial, that's cool. And that covers the basics of wrestling. Oh, yeah. Strike and slap your opponents. Be sure to hit those button prods for extra damage. Beat them up enough and they'll be soft enough for a pin. Remember to keep things exciting and interesting. Keep the crowd engaged so that you retain control of your hype meter. Thanks, Randy. Why don't you like to head the other green hordes around? When you're done, come see me in the AV room for your lessons and other advanced students. There isn't much to difference between run and walk, is there? What? What's with the ladder? Are they repairing something? The only thing they're fixing is the lack of spice in the matchup. Many battles include some kind of extra schemes or rules. These thieves amp up the challenge and the crowd. For a special match, take victory as a matter of pay with play by the rules of the match. I see Bork over here. What's wrong with that guy? Maxim Eb Anarchy. Love the name. What's wrong with that guy? Did he drink a bad shake? Afraid not, amigo. He's suffering from a status effect. Many abilities add lingering effects that can help or harm you. Vain means you're particular influenced by the crowd's behavior. You're less powerful when the crowd's negative towards you. Okay. The dreaded hype drain will cause you to generate less hype for each action. Muy desafantanado. Yeah. Mint condition toys are super valuable and well protected, taking 50% less damage. Generate twice as much hype with each action when you are vibing. Burning units lose 5% of their HP every time. Okay. There are many more status effects, so be sure to stuck up on healing items or wear gear that protects you. Who knew a gut buster would be so gut busting? Ugh. At least they got the realistic sound with this. Nothing there, no.
Nothing there either. Dang it. That's still fun. Nothing in the machine. Dead dummies there. Oh. I'll knock you out. What torso do I choose? It's really all about the fringe. Fringe is important, but you should also consider the materials the torso is made of. Each material reads differently many times. So elemental damage out there. If you if you know what element is gonna be used, you can prepare for it. Ugh. All right, let's go take a look at this advanced lesson here. All right, who knows the secret to pumping up the crowd? Taunting, of course. I do, it's baby oil. Leonard never change. Come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil isn't the answer to everything? You know what? Get out of here. Go do some burpees until you puke. So you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. But what about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You gotta get the mic out and do cut a promo that will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. Hey, do this. Part Where's the way your enemy part of it is being fast on your feet? Time to try it, Randy. Come on up here. See how you do with a rapid fire session. Right. Uh, let's see. Randy is. Uh, he has a stupid name. Oh, we're definitely going to use the uh, more effluid promo here. Randy is so weak, even I could see he doesn't stand a chance of winning. Yeah, but can you smell what, uh, what am I doing? Of course, he's going to go for the one that, you know. There we go. I'm going to crack Candy Santos over here like a sugar cookie. Tabby Flynn. I'm gonna dump this kitty cat here into the litter box. No, well, you should be careful with all that sugar and candy or you might get diabetes. Oh, not the best one. All right. Wanna see more? I have an old match here on TV between the Lochador and Dash Talent back when the Lochador was still part of PAW. Prior to his bout, Dash had been antagonizing the bait. Ben thick terror with a fishing rod during his matches against other opponents trying to hook him during a high-flying move. All right, you slam junkies, get back to work. Except for you, Randy, I have a job for you. What is Mr. Stretch? There's a guy from BW local wrestling league over at Macho Man Statue. You know what? Do I ever? Great. This BW wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. All right, so. Check out your current adjust patch color quest trackers. You can just provide somebody a quest. Press ZR to bring up the user interface panel. The overall helpful reminder what you should be doing. I want to see this promo. Can't keep these data kills down. Be watching you, Lochador, and I gotta say your skills. Lack a certain flair, a certain style, a certain panache. I think you need is a big hook. Yow! What do you think about your big title 
Wait it out, Mr. Talon. Are you saying you had something to do with all the fishing top four it's been going on during the Luxador's other matches? Green Jean? Me? I want the Luxador's matches, Jean? You couldn't pay me to show up at one of the those fish fops. Yow! It's not a roll. Besides, I'm the only fish in my yacht. Ha <laughs> ha. It's funny, senior talent. You come in here and brag about your money, yet it's obvious you can't afford a decent wig. You killed bottom feeder. I bought fish bigger than you. It's because you couldn't catch one yourself. Ha! Ah. There you go. Yes, I'm sure I'll have to pay all sorts of things like bad wigs. Or companionship. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, okay. You see the Luchador dash talents own insults against him. The benthic terror is always hit him where it hurts, bragging about his money and his way with the ladies. Wow. I bet Dash didn't see that coming. Done do I don't know, but his actions didn't seem at all surprised. He didn't sell it very well, in my opinion. Sell it? What are you talking about? All right, we're out of the promo room. Let's go. Okay, so we basically got nothing else to do down here. Let's head back out and we'll I'd say the map's a little interesting. It's a little off from where it should be here. So let's go for a little walk. So I see our character's a lot smaller than what it used to be in, uh, in the demo, right? Okay, so yeah, we could choose to either follow or... Interesting camera option there. Allows you to free flow and see wherever you want to be. Look at. Known for his consummate physical ability, his savage wrestling style, a deep gravelly voice. Macho man Randy Savage possibly had the most like was the most iconic legend in wrestling. Celebrating 29 title raids over his 32 year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting edge promos or delivering incredible theatrical flying elbow drops, Randy Savage won fans and accolades wherever he went. Even today, Savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike. His story inspired generation after generation. It's no secret that only someone like Macho Man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and say, Oh yeah! Truly is something, isn't it? I'm always uncertain. Wait, wait. The odd grave bird. Hey, I was always more of a fan of guys that wore face paint. Though that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man of the ropes and attacked him with a cobra would go over big at BW. BW? Wait, you're the guy I'm here to meet? I'm from the training gym. I'm here to help. Great. So you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be vibrant and electrified or dark and brooding? Brooding fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. I got a pick site that will fit the vibe of the other guys or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? Forget it. Look, 
Can you just go to the face paint shop for me? They have some samples I want to try out. Sure. Face paints. So the writers will like you. Poor thing babbling about writers. You must be delusional. Head to the face paint shop. To help a poor delusional beyond gray bird. I wonder who the real delusional one is. Came all the way for the Obakachi to check out this shrine. Oh, yeah. My daughter asked me to bring her here, then told me not to stand by her. I guess I'm not cool enough. Spreadsheet Alpha. Oh, well. Maybe I can check out that face page shop when we're done. All the Macho Man's gimmicks are here. Agus leaps and tatty. Even in Calgar Calgaria, we honor the Macho King's exceptional chivalry. Calgaria, nice. Hey, let's have a chat. Cal Hero, dude. Check out that fridge. Macho Man sure know how to dress. He's like the best part of 80s all rolled up into one. Okay. You're not from around here. Aram Claw. Randy Savage is truly one of the best. I hope I can be like him someday. All right. That was just the same speech. That's why I skimmed through it there. All right. So we're heading over to the paint shop. Gotta grab the lollipop. Okay, so the paint shop is down there. Eventually, we're gonna have to get into BEW. I'm assuming this is stuff we're going to have to explore later. Barbar bar, baseball bat and all there. All right, face to face. Take some notes and so Hola, amigos. Hmm. Strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back. Face paint? On your feet? What kind of madman would do such a thing? There's treachery afoot. Oh, there it is. Take it all. Gather all the war paid for our overlords. Wrestle Raider? They sort of associate with the Viking Raiders, maybe? Such Such They're looting the machismo. shop. Here's one. Take them alive and we'll melt them down to use this plastic as war paint. Oh. No, no. We're not going to do that. I keep Gotta remember I'm on a switch controller so everything's different now There we go you something about a stunner let's go
Ah, uh, the timing's a little off. Okay. Oh, he's not ready for it yet. Okay. Wrong button again. Tommy's a little off once again. All right, now that he's down, I better finish this. Finally, only well, took me three tries. One duct tape. Slowly moving. All right. Should find the shop owner before this wasteland melts him down too. Found an elbow pad, that's always good. Always go for the other way whenever they want you to go a certain way. Because look what we have here. Action figure speedos. Oh, and here's the other one. Table spot token. Nice. All right, so we got all the freebies now. We're starting to get stuff. Let's add it, right? Yeah, let's use one of those right now. I think we're just supposed to know that we're supposed to use that, so... Okay, now let's get back on the trail here of uh, finding our baddie here. You want to become a coiled spring of excitement? Table, there's only one way to get through one of these. Unlock a table spot with a table spot token. Once you find one, reapproach the table. You throw a wrestler through it. Table locks and table spot tokens come in three varieties single, double, or flaming. She's corresponding to the appropriate token. 
Where's this table we're talking about? Oh, there it is. I guess we used our token spot. And it just magically put somebody in there? More war paint. Our masters demand it. Nice day. Somebody help! We're being robbed! Actually got the controls right for once. Yay! Silo Stunna! Damn Xbox let me down here. Just because my controllers are backwards. He's one more of these. Oh good, he's fallen. Try this again. There we go. Took me long enough, but I got it. So another duct tape. I like that, so I can heal myself up again. Come on, push the four, four hundred, four hundred. Close. Almost leveled up. What can I do for you? Buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? To the crumb. Ha! Superheroes are fake. I'm a pro wrestler. Well, whatever you are, these were some macho moves, muchacho. Yes. Macho moves, muchacho. I like the sound of that. These blasted wrestle raiders come down here to get supplies and rituals of worship from Road Warrior Hawk and Animal. Wish they could emulate someone more heroic. Well, the Road Warriors are the bad guys here. Someone more heroic. Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's on the house. Here you go. I'm here for a special order. Some samples for Ombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Get the sight with Goth and Surfer. Here they are. This is a moment during the demo I realized that we're working for Sting right now. Thanks, muchacho. Return to the... Neon Gra... Return... Thank 
Anything special here? Nope. Let's get her move on. So there's not much in terms of side missions on this thing. It really isn't that bad. Well, at least so far there isn't. I shouldn't say too much because we're probably going to... Oh, what? He's back. Hey, stranger. Carry the vest and face paint vehicle, but it doesn't look like your gimmick needs any. So it looks like we might have to come back later. So I wonder if things are going to open up a little bit here now. Cream Macho stat Macho Man statue. Oh, we're going straight to our friend. Here, I hope these help your quest to BW. Thanks. Say, what do you think I should choose? Well, if BW likes the go the serious thing, I can't argue with it, right? Thanks, I'll consider that. If you need me, I'll be here practicing some catchphrases. Go see Johnny Stretch back in the gym, all right? I think this is roughly where we ended up last time, so... Let's go see what's going on at the gym. This is my domain. Hey Randy, how'd the job go? I appreciate you doing it. Should strengthen our gym's relationship with BEW. It was unexpectedly enlightening, sir. Yeah? Boxwood Street Wrestling as a trip. They really push for an intense vibe with what that barbed wire and edgy characters and all. Mm. But it's what you gotta do if you wanna compete with dog duds like Paw, plush, and action figure wrestling. I'm an enlightening about myself, sir. Great. It's always good to learn more about ourselves and strive to become better. That's enough for one day. Are you close up tonight? You bet, sir. Thanks, Randy. It's dedication to the guy will take you far. Good. We got, the we got that quest done. Time to give the people a new champion. Please help Mr. Stretch's new students and please help that poor BW wrestler regain his senses. Amen. What a great day, Macho Man. I feel like I learned. He's praying to the Macho Man. Great. Convinced now the more ever that we will always live out our wrestling spirit and that the world needs what heroes. Good night. Macho Man Randy Savage. Hey, Macho Muchacho. Hello. Jackson516, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Hope everything's going well for you. Just getting through the early parts of WrestleQuest here. The hero race that hasn't put the mood down for a three count yet. Always good to get an early start, sir. Is that a sleepy bag coming out of your locker? Uh, doesn't matter. Listen, I got a surprise for everyone. Head over to the rig where you're ready. A surprise?
Don't see anything going on right now. I run this place. All right, class, stop and flex and turn your decks. We got a special lesson for you, Randy. Get in the ring. Okay. Today I'll be learning about managers, managers, accident, and silly part members that provide all sorts of benefits like new gimmicks. Open the gimmick menu, all right. Now scroll to the right so you see a manager gimmick. All right, use my power to heckle right now. This is my place. Okay, I see. Pretty cool, huh? Manager gimmicks will cost AP just like your regular gimmicks. They may also have other requirements. All right. Skips can be used by MMA stables so they complement your existing abilities by filling skip gaps. For instance, if you don't have any healing abilities, use a manager who does. Oh, fair enough. It's a cool way to think of it. I run this place. Managers also have passive skills, so members of your stable. They're versatile, powerful components. You're stable. Choose them wisely. Time to heal the people and you Sir, you keep mentioning our stables, so do you mean sometimes we won't have to wrestle alone? Of course not. You may find other slam junkies that you call friend or even brother or sister. Time I'm more Tades advance less and head to the AV room when you're ready. Oh, it's just the same thing again. Okay. So I've talked to everybody about the these things already here. So no use even worrying about it here. Let's just whip through this and keep going here. So class, yesterday we talked about how your skills in the mic can impact your height meter. Even more important than what kind of hype, hype type you choose. Who knows what a hype type is? Hello. I do. It's a type of baby. Oh God, Leonard. If you say baby, well, I will choke slam you. That's how you generate hype, sir. Bingo. I think it's a visual aid will help you demonstrate this. It's a classic PAW training video I scored for the flea market last month. So now we get to watch exhibition videos. I'm here reporting. Welcome to PAW's official hype, tra hype type trading video. There are many exciting personalities and styles in the world of pro wrestling, which we covered today. Each these generate different actions. For example, the powerhouse type, which the big guy squeeze uses, builds up the crowd by dealing damage. There's showman type, like the magnificent dash tad that generate hype by taunting and flaunting. Sidekicks like Jock Oz, they listen to cheers whenever they support another unit. Wily technicians pump up the crowd with their keen wrestling ability, which often inflicts status effects. Loudly ominous Grim Jim to demonstrate.
but never underestimate underdogs like Lochador because the crowd loves it when they come back for the odds. Free to choose a hype type for any of those characters. Experiment the ones that suit style or strategy. Fair enough. So this is where I screwed up last time, but I didn't get a chance to pick. Okay, so for Randy... Let's see now. For pros, for powerhouse... Attacky generates hype. Defeating generates hype. Critical hit generates hype. All costs, all gimmicks cost an extra 10%. Damage reduction reduced by 10. Ugh. Taunting generates plus 10 hype. Nailing butt. After taunting, all friendly units take 50% damage for one turn. Ugh. Using healing and buffing gimmicks generates extra hype. Healing, fatigue, you and So you're not a healer. Nailing button presses during confident creates hype. Pitting an enemy generates extra hype. Inflicting debuff generates hype. Dealing bonus elemental damage contains hype. All right, so that, that's not bad. Acting while under fatigue or a debuff generates extra hype. Acting while friendly unit is KO'd. Generates five hype. Stopping an opponent pin. From pity you creates 10 plus hype. I'm gonna go with the technician for right now. This is my domain. Okay, that's enough for now. Don't forget your essay of po poetics and pile drivers are due on Monday. Nice. So is that how they're gonna wrap this? They're gonna go back to the Logan one now, right? Or no? Right. Hey, did you guys hear? Pa is supposed to be. Put a, okay, put on a dark match over in Boxwood. <laughs> Dude, no way. That's incredible. Yeah, from what I hear, it's going to be an open event. Anyone can take part. Here's the catch. It's the event. It's in Boxwood. You know the BEW is going to try and put their guy into it. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> if BEW will be selecting wrestlers, they'll have to choose their championship title holder, right? All they have to do is become the BEW champion. Then they have to pick us. Make sure that you become a BW champion. All I have to do is defeat the current champion, right? Yeah, but BW would have you work into a storyline. You have to get over more than your current champion. And look, Aubrey, all I need to do is beat the current BW champion. Then I get to be in the Paw Dark match, maybe even her a spot in Paw. That's not much of a plan. My plan is no plan. It's the, I'm the human torpedo. Watch out, Boxwood. Here I come. This is... This is like Bron Breaker. That's what it feels like for me. He's like Bond Breaker. That guy's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's pretty sincere. You can tell he leaves a breeze this stuff. He needs to grow up. That's not how the world works. I think his authenticity, his hope is inspiring. Attractive, even. Ooh. Rawr, baby. Maybe a dose of reality at Boxwood will open up his eyes. So are we going straight to BEW or are they... I'm here to help. I promise I won't fail you. Hey, Randy, I'm locking up for the day. See you Monday. Actually, Mr. Stretch, do you have a minute? It's on your mind. Sir, I'm ready. Ready to enter the world of professional wrestling. Pa is putting on a dark match over at Boxwood. I plan to become the BW champion into the match for a shot at the big time. Even got my gimmick picked up. From now on, I will be the Spice himself, the South of the Bar Savage, Muchacho Man. Oh, see. It's quite an impressive shit, muchacho man, but it takes more of, more than a gimmick to win in the world of professional wrestling. You got the skills in the heart, kid, but you may not have the wisdom to navigate the tempestuous world of professional wrestling, not without losing your soul. Of course it's gonna be about the soul. 
My soul? The world of pro wrestling is full of larger than life heroes and terrible villains. I'm not afraid, Senor Stretch. And my mind is made up. I have to do this. I know it is, kid. And I know there's no stopping you. So you have my blessing, but take heed. This world has a way of stomping on goodness, so prepare to fight. But keep slamming. Greatness can be yours. Oh, see. A wrestling quest begins. Which makes it sort of appropriate the title of our uh, little stream here. Okay, so it wants us to go pay tribute to our by the muchacho man. Take some notes and soak it in. This is it, Randy. So it just randomly throws out fireworks knowing that you want to become a pro wrestler now. 